What we're trying to do is to extract energy from the ocean. There's a lot of energy in the ocean, enough to, in fact, light up the entire United States. Our job is to extract energy from waves, tides, currents, the Gulf Stream, and be able to take that energy and develop it into the form where it would be electricity flowing through the grid. I'm Billy Edge. I'm with the UNC Coastal Studies Institute in Manio, and I'm also a professor at North Carolina State University. The Ocean Energy Program is funded by the state of North Carolina. It is a research program looking at a number of ways that we can actually access energy from the ocean and transform that energy into electrical energy and ultimately provide it to the grid. Uh, we have uh, three universities involved in the research program with their colleges of engineering, including NC a and UNCC at Charlotte, and North Carolina State University. We have four main thrust areas that we are funding research in at the moment. The first is magnetic gearing. And magnetic gearing is one that'll perhaps reduce the cost of this energy transfer substantially to make it more economical and competitive with fossil fuel generated energy. The second is looking at the ability to actually store energy underwater, under tremendous pressures at depths of 300, 500, 1,000 meters below the surface. And the ability to store the energy allows us to essentially reserve that energy for the time that peaking power is needed. And the objective here is to make that also more competitive with fossil fuel energy. Thirdly, we are looking at the ability to, to capture energy from the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream is a tremendous resource and it has so much energy there that if we could just harness a part of it, it would be a real significant contribution to the portfolio of the state. And then fourthly, our thrust area is looking at the interaction and influence of the environment on these marine hydrokinetic devices. Uh, when I say that, the devices that would be capturing the tidal energy or the wave energy. One of the things we're also doing, in addition to the research at the universities, is testing devices that are ready for the ocean. Recently, we had an opportunity to test one of those devices at Jeanette's Pier. We are set up at Jeanette's Pier to be able to bring devices in, deploy them, and instrument the environment around them so that we can actually see the performance under real conditions. My name is Cliff Gowdy and I'm here uh, working with Resolute Marine Energy. Uh, we're out on Jeanette's Pier uh, and hopefully today uh, or soon thereafter we'll be getting this device in the water and we'll begin our experiments measuring wave power. Uh, behind me is a, a, a wave energy converter and there's many different types. This one is a surge type uh, device that uh, captures the energy from the surge motion of waves going back and forth in shallow water. And this device captures that energy and turns it into power. Uh, what we're seeing is uh, uh, fairly high efficiencies, well above uh, being able to capture 50% of the energy that's coming coming by. And depending upon the shoreline, uh, where you're at and what the conditions are, you know, the average wave energy, maybe 10 kilowatts per meter of shoreline. So if you do the math, you can see there's a quite a bit of energy. If you, even if you can capture just half of that, you have quite a bit of energy if you can put a row of these along the shoreline. <laughs> 